Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, as promised from my last video, I'm gonna be cutting my hair. I usually go to a hair salon because I have zero hair cutting experience. But today, since we're doing the no comfort zone challenge, I'm getting out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna cut my hair myself. Partially because I, I'm kinda of getting over my hair. I just need something new. I'm just getting really bored with it. So. I, if I mess up, it's gonna be okay because I kinda don't care. But luckily I'm not gonna do it like by myself, by myself, cause I'm gonna have a professional virtually help me cut my hair. You're gonna see the actual live with the professional hairstylist and then me doing it and we'll see how this works because I know you guys are all over the world. So now if you don't have a curly hairstylist where you live or you have a hard time finding a salon that you like, now you have an option no matter where you are in the world. So, without further ado, let's do this. Hello! <laughs> Long time no see. So can you tell us your name and your, about your salon and a little bit how this like started? Yes, yeah, so I'm Daisy Henson. My nickname is Daze, go by Curly Hair Days. And um, I've been a licensed hairstylist for over almost 25 years. And I've been doing virtual curly cuts actually before uh, the pandemic started. So like back in January, 2020, it was just kind of a fluke. I was helping a few clients help them with their hair because I couldn't get to them. Oh, I thought it started because of the panini. No, <laughs> no actually a couple months before. And then the pandemic hit and it was like, hmm. Yeah, I need an option. Yeah, maybe it was an option. I actually joked that, oh yeah, this is gonna be the new service, but I was not serious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, we had no, we were expecting a 12 day quarantine, but that happened two years later. And you're located right. in San Diego, right? I'm in San Diego, California, yes. Okay, and then do yeah, you yeah. still go to your salon or this is just the new thing now? This is my main business now. That's Every awesome. once in a while I'll be in the salon, but um, there's been so, such a big request for, virtual haircutting. So I'm just moving curly girls all over the world. So it's been amazing. And then you also are kind of like empowering us like to be able like to do it ourselves. And I know there's just this natural anxiety with curly girls going to salons and like many people say that they're curly specialists, but they're not really like you. They just say that. And then you leave with like a cut that's for a straight hair. And like, we just don't say anything in the chair for some reason, at least that's me. Like I sit there, I'm like, yeah, I love it when I don't. <laughs> But now it's like, you're kind of giving us like the control and the power and if we don't like it, that's on us. So it's pretty, you know, empowering to hold the scissors myself. Right. right. A little scary, but also a little empowering. Well, absolutely. I know everybody that comes on here will say, oh, I'm, I'm really nervous, but I am excited. But yeah. That's why I'm here. I'm here so that you don't mess up your hair. <laughs> and, you know, you're still working with a professional. It's going to be amazing. I think you're going to do great we gonna see we gonna see <laughs> okay everyone here's my before here's the side very flat no more layers or volume just how it looks in the back what do you think doctor <laughs> you have amazing curls but we can give it an even better shape and more lift i've been going back and forth between like what i want because i did love my bang era i love like the the round shape like i just need something new i need shape something to give it more life so I'm okay with losing some length. Like I could tell it's like a little thinner here. Take your hands and then show me on your hair the, the length that you are comfortable with after it's washed, dried, and the hair pops up after we cut um, it. I mean, even if, even if we went to like here would be fine. Okay. What everyone knows that I preach is I'm always about health over length. And I just want it to look as healthy and as full as possible versus just trying to make it look mm. long. That would be great to bring that up a little bit. Um, on virtual, I try to go a little more on the conservative side. We'll cut a little bit less than what we think. Cool. And then we'll see how the cr curls bounce back up after you wash and style it again. Mm -hmm. I have this service that's called the nip and tuck. So <laughs> when you go to a curl specialist, you get your hair cut dry mm -hmm. and then we wash, we style. Yeah. And then we go back in and kind of trim up based on how the curls that's bounce true. up. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's get your tools in check. Okay. So let's see. You have your mirror. Check. You have your scissors. Check. You have your clips. I got three of these claw ones and two regulars. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to section with. 
check, even though I never section. So that's going to be the hardest part of this whole haircut. <laughs> Great. Now, now tell me, me, are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay, so your dominant side always feels more awkward when you're cutting. So okay, that probably makes sense. A little warning for you. Okay, yeah. got it. And then, since you're right-handed, let me see how you hold your scissors. Like this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Okay, so as stylists, we hold our scissors with our ring finger in that top hole. Like this? Uh-huh, just like that. And your ring finger, or your pinky on the end. On top so of I it? Think, like I think, Yes, but I think you need to flip them because the little tang uh, is on the top. That makes there sense. we go. Wow, Perfect. guys, I'm a professional already. <laughs> <laughs> really? First of all, just to get started, we're going to part down the center in the back. So first you can just use your fingers to start with. Okay. So just kind of like, yeah, find the center. And we're just going to take off a little bit of length now. We're just gonna jump into the deep end. Okay. <laughs> I said I didn't care and then she said it and then I got nervous. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna gather the left side like you're putting it in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. Here. Take your two fingers over the top. There you go. More, 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 more. Right there. Okay, and now go ahead and you're gonna cut straight up your straight hand. Straight up, right up, I'm assuming like against here. Yep, parallel to your hand there. Okay guys, first cut, up. here we go. Bye. There we go, let it go. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Okay, take your left hand. You're gonna take your left hand. Oh, left hand still. Okay. Yep, there you go. Knee down, down, down. This side's a little longer than the other side. Right there, stop. Yeah, we call this the warm up. Okay. <laughs> Get you comfortable. How about like this little curl? Do I yep, go yep. back and up really good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. And then go ahead and cut on top of your fingers. Right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Good. So that's good. That's just like your warm up. So now I'm going to cut the back of my hair, but that's the trickiest part. So if you want to know how to do that, you're going to have to book with Daisy. Last piece for the back of my head. This is a big chunk, guys. Here we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Dennis. Doom. Voila. <laughs> you're doing amazing are you just saying that <laughs> no i'm not it's, it's a workout that's how you was a workout yeah you were my excuse for skipping the gym today i was like oh daisy said i can't go so i have to stay <laughs> so where do you think you want your fringe to land on your face like the, like right in the front center section not this whole piece but mm -hmm. maybe here i tend to like to to go a little on the longer side, yeah. starting out, and then see how after you wash and style them, and if you're like, you know what, I do want to go shorter. We're gonna start here first, and we're gonna see how they bounce up. So turn your hand to the side, and now you can cut again. Okay. There, cut. Good. All right, right there, cut. Watch the knuckle. <laughs> We're gonna fine tune it. So you see this curl sticking straight out at your shoulder there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just hold it at the very tip and mm -hmm. just like that, take your scissors and cut on top of your fingers. Uh -huh. A little bit more. There you go. Wow, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> it's really working. <laughs> so yeah, trim that down. Yep. <laughs> okay. A little stringy right there. Perfect. All right. Other side. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Are we less nervous? A little less nervous? Yes. Basically okay. a professional now. So now we're going to um, adjust those pieces. You might have to... Move see. my tree. Move <laughs> your tree. Lift that up. There you go. And cut a little bit higher, higher, there, a little higher, a little higher, there. <laughs> oh, oh. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Here? Mm hmm Yeah. Here? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. The left side has a little bit of a flat section going on here. Let's see, 
right here on the left, mm -hmm. right lower, 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 midsection, right there. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Yeah. So pick up those top curls only, right? Voila, let's go. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Wow. Okay. Other that really time. is the magic <laughs> trick. Oh, it looks so much healthier already. I even like putting it like in the ponytail. Like it just feels thicker now. And there's yes, a little shape look there. At that. Oof. Yay! Yes, it's no more stragglers. No more. I'm also getting my pineapple back. I've graduated to like a waterfall palm tree <laughs> situation. <laughs> I love it! Are we done? Did we do it? We're done. We did it. Oh my goodness. High five. High five. Mm. Bam! Yes. All right. See, I usually don't do high fives. I do. I do pounds. You gotta. You gotta pound it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm so glad I did this. <laughs> I'm glad you did too. Thank you so much. Are you proud of me? Or do you approve? Or you're gonna hang up and be like, oh my god, she butchered that. <laughs> you did amazing. No, I'm very proud of you. And I know you were nervous. But you did amazing. Thank you. You're the best. Love it. <laughs> wow. We have shape. We have volume. We have layers. No more little straggly ends. And I did it. I'm very proud of myself. This was definitely out of my comfort zone. But um, yeah, if you are also interested, no matter where you live, like I'm sure you have people like internationally, right? Absolutely. All around the world. A video call will work anywhere. So if you want to hit up Daisy, how should they contact you? Should they go to your Instagram, your website? What do they do? My website is thedaysstudio.com. And if you want to get the link, it's at Curly Hair Days. All right. Awesome. And then how booked are you? Like, what's a realistic time they could uh, get an appointment? <laughs> I mean, right now we're six months out, but... Oh. So book right have... now, literally <laughs> right now. I will put the link in my description box. And that way you don't have to worry about trying to find a hairstylist in your city. I have zero experience. So if I can do it, you could do it. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. <laughs> so there you go. The final look. If you want to get out of your comfort zone as well and cut your own hair, definitely book with Daisy as soon as possible so you can get in. And if you enjoyed this video and you're glad I didn't do like a full pixie cut, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.